Hello everyone, welcome to another Java for Testers tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the keywords break and continue in Java. So we have already understood about the break keyword when we were looking at the switch case statements and how you can break out from the switch case uh, statement. So similarly, break keyword can be utilized in loops and it can be used with the while, do while or for loop as and when required or based on the specific conditions, you can utilize the break keyword to jump out of the statement or, or, or uh, jump out of the loop, any sort of loop that is supported in Java. Now, uh, when we talk about the continue statement, so continue has uh, another, you know, sort of significance as well. And we'll understand the continue and break together in the in this tutorial. So let me create a new class and I'll name it as break and continue. And include the main method and finish. All right. So the first thing to understand the break statement is to use the loop. So first we'll create a loop. So let's understand this break statement with the for loop. So I'll create a for loop. So for example, I have, I want to print the numbers from one to 10. So I'll use the for loop. So I'll simply define as int, um, initialize the integer variable, um, a variable i, which is of type int and initialize a value as one there. And while i is, you know, less than 10, or in this case, I'll say less than or equal to 10 i plus plus. So I'll increment the value. Now within this for loop, I want to print the value of i. Okay, so I'll simply print the value of i. So if I run this particular loop, it will print the values or the numbers from 1 to 10, right, which is pretty simple example of the for loop. Now say, for example, there is a requirement that as soon as there is a certain condition that has been met within the loop, I want to break out of the loop and I don't want to execute further. So how we can achieve that? And that's where break statement or break keyword comes into picture. So if there is a specific condition, say for example, I want to break out when the I has reached to a certain level or certain number. So if Say for example, i becomes seven, then I want to break out of the loop. Okay, so I'll simply say, I'll use the condition if i is equal to seven, then I want to break. And then I'll use the break statement there. Okay, so what this loop will do is, so as far as the i, the value of i is not equal to seven, the loop will continue as soon as the value of i becomes 7 it will you know get inside this you know, curly braces or the control will come here and break out of this loop and let me print a statement here as well so that you can see that this final statement got printed all right so let me run it now and see what is the result so here you can see that it has printed from one to six. And then as soon as the value or the condition, this condition is fulfilled, i is equal to seven, it broke out of the loop or jumped out of this loop and didn't print any of the i values further and finally printed the final statement, right? So that's the usage of break statement in Java. Now, this break statement I have used it for with for loop. You can use it with the while loop or do while based on the, you know, requirement. Now, the only thing you have to rem remember is you have to specify the condition on which the break will happen. So here, for example, uh, I have used the condition if i is equal to seven. So similarly, you can have multiple conditions. Say, for example, if i is equal to seven or, you know, i is less than something or greater than something you can have multiple conditions uh, there as well okay or you can provide the range as well so that's the usage of break statement in java now when we 
you know go ahead and see the continue statement so continue statement what it does is it breaks one iteration all right so if the specified condition that you have specified occurs then it will break that condition and continue further so for example instead of this break i'll use continue in this case i'll use the continue keyword and then let me print it let's see what is the result so in the result if you look closely it has printed from one to six then as soon as the condition became i is equal to seven it has continued further it didn't print the value seven it has continued and then continued with the loop with further values eight nine ten and then finally it came out of the loop and printed the final statement right which is the string that i have specified there so if you notice the difference between the break and continue so break will break you out of the loop it will jump out from the loop as soon as the condition is met however in case of continue if that particular condition is met then the increment will happen so it won't go further so from this particular condition as soon as uh, this condition has been met where if i is equal to 7 so as soon as i became 7 then it came here to the keyword continue it won't go further it will directly go and increment this value to 8 okay so it it doesn't come down it directly uh, you know continues the loop or it skips the further statements that are mentioned within the loop so that's the basic advantage of using the continue keyword so what continue does is it continues to the next cycle to skip you know the iteration so it will skip the further iteration and the real scenario in automation testing or the selenium automation would be say for example you know you have the excel file where you have the test data and there are 100 lines of test data in the excel file and you want to skip certain lines or certain uh, uh, certain amount of data between uh, you know say for example row, from row number 10 to 20 you want to skip that data so in those sort of scenarios you can use the continue statement with the loop so you you specify the condition that from 10 to 20 you continue or you don't you know consider that particular test data for the execution so you can use the continue statement in that particular scenarios now the break for the break it will completely jump out of the loop so for example uh, the actual usage of the break would be you are trying to you know find certain information into uh, the excel file and as soon as you are able to find that particular information you don't want to continue finding right so in that particular case once the information has been found you simply break out of the loop and progress further so these are you know very simple and basic examples or the actual scenarios where you will use the break and continue keywords in java now both of these break and continue keywords can be utilized with any of the loops and they are only used within the loop so you can't use break and continue outside of the loop and you have to make sure that you have you specify the condition on which the break and continue will happen so that's all for the break and continue statements in java Hope you like the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.